Welcome to How to Deal When the Shit Gets Real podcast. I'm Rihanna. And I'm Connie. And today we are having our bonus episode where we talk a little bit about our episode with Jen and other things. And other things because... And other mostly, things. Mostly other things because we usually get distracted and then we don't really talk Ramble. about Ramble. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. They no, do actually, other talking, so... And it's fine because these bonus episodes are supposed to be for us talking just and yeah. just hanging out and less about the interview because you've already heard the interview right exactly. so you don't need us to reiterate it for you but there's my if reminder you do, again. then go back and re yeah re-listen listen. yeah there's my reminder again though to ask jen about her therapist because her therapist sounded so cool i <laughs> am very intrigued yeah because you don't really normally are like yeah i got my social me- like i got my therapist from social media it's cool we're good I'm like, I well, love just it. the way she like described the her him, I don't even remember if it was him or her or who they were, but her, I'm pretty sure. Her, I think it was. Um, but just the way she described her, I was like, I need to be friends with this chick at the very least. Yes. We could all use a therapist friend. I don't like like being that therapist friend. But me and somebody else, we tend to like be like, and so yeah. Like there's a couple people that I'm like, oh, it's probably because of this reason, like psychologically. Mm-hmm. But we never like we're never like, and let me diagnose you. But we're always like, there's there's a psychological reason why my husband's being a dumbass. <laughs> let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. And then you have some people though, like I have a really good friend that's really, really, really into astrology. So she'll be like, well, Mercury, Mercury's in retrograde, so this is happening, and this is why he's being an ass. And I'm like. Can you write that down? Because I did. I got half of it. <laughs> You're like, sure. That's what I'd be like. I'd be like, okay, cool. I mean, I'm down with it. I just don't completely understand it. So no, that that would be me. Googling. That's why I'd be like, okay, I don't get it, but all right. Like, thank you for the knowledge. I have no idea what's going on. I believe what you're saying. So you're saying things are shitty right now because of the moon and something else. I got, I got the gist. Okay, cool. When does exactly. it stop? <laughs> never Mm-mm. when does mercury move out of retrograde <laughs> <laughs> never or they're just annoying no, i'm just kidding they're not i love my husband. no they're not men are not always annoying just sometimes it's no. fine everything's no, fine i could not imagine though being engaged to or married to an olympic athlete i think that's pretty cool yeah it's super cool and not just you know an Olympic athlete, but Paralympic, which is even really yeah. cool. Yes. I can't imagine like the pressure under pressure, do, 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 do. but she's right about one thing. It's definitely probably all about the community because I feel like every job has that. Yes. Like where my husband works, where your husband works, especially the military. Oh my God, that's like a huge community. You know, yeah. every job has like their like little niche of community, except for maybe like businessmen, businessmen out there. Do you guys have a niche? Because I've never married a businessman before. So I, I have no idea if there's like a niche for them. Like, well, and I guess if you drive community. And then, I mean, I guess if you drive like a food truck and it's just your business, you're not really going to have a community unless you make friends with other food truck drivers. I don't know. Well, I'm assuming that they would be because you're like a lot of food trucks, like they're all like I remember working downtown in the, in the city. They were all in a line. I'm sure they all knew each other and was like, all hey, right. what's going on? Businessmen. Like, I and doubt food that it's just going to be. Businessmen and food truck drivers, we need we need the report. Let us know. Do you do you guys have a club? What <laughs> what other niches out. are there? Let us know. Do you have do you have backyard barbecues together? We need we need to know. Yes. Oh my god. It probably it's probably the best backyard barbecues because like that guy over there, he'll bring the tacos. The other guy will bring the pulled pork. The other guy will bring mac and cheese. I'm you know, sure when, it's going to be delicious. When we lived in California, I don't know how they got like the okay to it, or maybe they didn't get okay and people just looked away and let it be. But there was a a taco margarita truck, so like you got both, mm-hmm. and it was the best thing ever. I don't oh, know how yeah. they got away with it, but it was awesome. Oh, because of the margaritas? Yes, because the alcohol. Hmm. Well, they'd have to have an alcohol license. That's what I'm saying. And then like you're driving. Yeah. So I feel like that's kind of, and then I don't know, but either way, they need, I'm to sure say, there's some sort of, I'm sure, I'm sure there's some sort of rule to it. Need I don't to know. Say it was a neighborhood hit. Well, you yeah. go outside and be like, I'll take a margarita. Yeah. Oh my God. Could you imagine instead of ice cream trucks, they had margarita trucks. 
There'd be a they lot drive of happy moms. Uh, you heard it here. You can get a margarita truck. Get a margarita truck. You would make a lot of money. All the moms, and all the stay-at-home moms would be like, here, me. Okay, I, hear me yeah. out. And it, it, instead of playing like the ice cream song, whatever the hell that is, I don't even, you'd be like, you, you just hear from speakers, oh, mom, milkshake's bringing all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Damn right. Like, that's what you would hear as it goes around. Like, because obviously what else is going to pull these moms out of their homes to get a margarita? The tequila song. Tequila. Da, 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 da. Okay, fine. That's even better. <laughs> That's fine. where I thought you were going. <laughs> they, there could be a tequila song for the margarita truck, but then there has to be like um, like a mudslide <laughs> <laughs> truck there's with also, my milkshakes. There's also like a, I don't want to say a new version of tequila song, but like a more like upbeat tequila song by like Jack Jones and there's a it's, more a beat. How can you get more a beat than I have than to send it to you? I guess I shouldn't say more. I guess I shouldn't say more a beat. It's just like more modern. Yeah, there you go. More modern. It's really good. I actually I it's on my dancing videos that I do and I love it. I'm always like tequila. La, la, la. <laughs> Either way, it's actually kind of a brilliant idea to go around selling margaritas, but it it's was neither a here nor there. Yeah. I'm sure they made a killing. I have no doubt oh, yeah. they made a killing. No, I'm talking about my idea. Driving a t- uh, margarita truck all the way around your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Stopping at every house. Would you like a margarita? <laughs> yeah. That's what they were doing. That's what I'm saying. She tr- she drove around the neighborhood like an ice cream Whoa. Truck. Okay. Yeah, that is. Like, I was thinking of like a stationary taco. No, she drove truck. through our neighborhood with tacos and margaritas. I love it. it. There's no way that that was legal. No, no, no way. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. know. If, like, no, now that I understand, I get like, it because I was like, I was trying to think of it. I'm like, I think food trucks are allowed to sell alcohol. I'm like, I, I don't know. understand she why this is a big deal. Truck. Like, no, maybe California. Was- I was thinking in my head, I'm like, maybe California is just weird. No, it would come on the military base too. So I don't know if people were just like looking the other way or what, or she paid somebody off. But... 10 out of 10, looking the other way, margaritas make everybody <laughs> happier. Oh, all right. Everybody go have a margarita now. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, I loved Jen's like positive, upbeat attitude, even when it came to like talking about her own mental health and how she was like, yeah, I just, I needed help. And I, I just, I went and got it and I needed it. And here I am. I feel like a lot of the people, though, that we've interviewed have been like that, which is really good. I mean, it shows how far people have come because I know of people personally who are like, why? I can talk to friends and family. And I'm like, but friends and family can't fix you. No, They can't tell you exactly why you're doing the things you're doing. You know who can? A therapist. Who has many, many years of schooling. And can yeah. actually diagnose you. And if you need the only thing friends and family for you and only thing that friends and family can do for you is listen, which is great and is important for things of lesser nature. But if you have some real problems, yeah, going to a therapist is real good for real problems and not just bitching about work. Right. Okay. Exactly. People, you hear me? <laughs> do you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? God, I remember those Verizon commercials. They were from forever Mm -hmm. ago. I think they still have them on on occasion. Wouldn't wouldn't surprise me at all. Nope. Because it was popular. I mean, they also even brought back like that Allstate guy. Because my favorite one was, I'm a hot babe out jacking, trying to keep this a 10. Oh, my God. It's funny that you bring that up because I Mayhem. That's what they called him. Yeah. I love Mayhem. Yeah, he's still around. But it's funny yes. that you bring that up because I was literally watching Sex in the City last night while I was writing and there was a point where Carrie was dating the Mayhem guy. <laughs> Is and this I, the like, new Sex in the City? No, no, no. The original one from the from the 90s. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Yeah. So he came on screen and I hear, you know, I'm writing, I'm not really paying attention. I hear his voice and I'm like, the Mayhem guy. And I look up and sure enough, and I'm like, it's obviously he's super young because it's from yeah, yeah, 20 yeah. years but ago. You're like, but you're like, holy shit. Like, I was like, oh my God, I didn't even realize that was him until right this second. That's hilarious. Yeah, his commercials are funny. But I mean, when you think about it too during Christmas, I think about this every Christmas, that like ringing 
Hershey Kisses commercial. They've been playing that yes. commercial every Christmas for like 20 Ever. years at least. Because it's, it's a classic. I mean, what else can you do? They look like bells. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to go pick up some today. I'm going to put them in little cookies <laughs> and bring them to work. There you go. That'll be nice. We have a work outing tomorrow, so I'm going to bake cookies and then put them in the cookies. But like in a little mini muffin tan, tin, not. So like it'll be Are cookies the surrounded by blossoms? chocolate. No, no. Well, I mean, kind of, sort of. Like, I'm going to make the peanut butter cookie. I'm going to put it in a mini muffin tin and then put the kiss in there so the whole cookie will surround the kiss. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. So it'll be like a kiss-filled cookie instead of just a flat cookie. With instead a instead of a boot kiss on top. Yeah, I gotcha. That'll be delicious. It's like same, same, but different. Same, same, but almost. The cookie ate exactly. the Hershey kiss. Yeah, exactly. Which I was like, that actually sounds even better because then you get some cookie and some kiss in every bite versus you get cookie and then eventually get to the kiss. That would be really cool. Actually, what I thought you were originally saying, which I was like, oh, that's a good idea, too, is that like you put the kiss on top and let it completely melt and then harden so that the entire top and like you use the cookie tin so it wouldn't no, that's like, melt ba- over the edge. So then it would be. That's basically what happens. On top. That's basically yeah. what happens. Like it'll be in there and then on top, like it'll look like a little chocolate cup. Yeah. Because it'll be I was cookie, though, like, like the cookie chocolate. was flat and then it you melted um, it and then it was flat. So then there was like a flat layer of chocolate on top and then the cookie, which I was like, oh, that's smart too. Well, you could do that too, yes. Um, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I will do something like that. I don't know. I haven't see, decided. All the, all the options. Yes. I was also gonna get, do some with Rolos in them. I love Rolos. Rolos are delicious. I know. And doesn't it sound amazing? It does. I mean, caramel, you can't go wrong. Anything caramel, you can't go wrong. And it's like a caramel center of a cookie. That's delicious. That sounds great. It does. It's a, I'm, I'd say that's a win-win. Yeah, just like your um, caramel snickle do- snickerdoodles. Those were so good. I will definitely make those again. They were so good. All right now I yeah, want wonderful. cookies. <laughs> Anytime. That's what I'm here for, to make everybody crave cookies. Who doesn't love cookies. a cookie? Especially I mean, like there's homemade There's probably ones. people that don't. There are probably people that don't. Like oh, cookies. yeah. I know a couple of weird people who do not like. Actually, they only liked the molasses cookies. Those are the good ones. Yeah, they only liked those. They don't like any sweets at all. And then they're like, oh, well, I do like a molasses on occasion. And they were like, oh, these are the bomb. And I was like, you're welcome. People that and then I wrote a note to remember really really throw me. I'm like, how I don't understand. What don't you like about it? What is there not to like about it? I don't understand. See, Tom is kind of like that. But I mean people that are like hardcore, like, I don't like chocolate. It's gross. Like not kind of that that is well, yeah, because see, Tom likes it, but he, he prefers like a sugar cookie or like a Reese's. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't really like he wants something with peanut butter or caramel is really what it goes also down to. Smart. But he doesn't care. Yeah. So I mean, but like if I was going to go and get us something, he'd be like something with cookie dough or caramel or peanut butter. Like. A peanut butter shake to him is great. I'm like, that's weird, but okay. Yeah, that's weird. You you mean you mean you want a chocolate shake? <laughs> you mean you want you're confusing shake that, those two butter? words? Ooh, even better. I mean, that's I like, could do that's a that's a Reese's with peanut butter, but I just a peanut butter shake. Yeah, that's no, just a peanut weird. butter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, just weird. a peanut butter shake. That's that's my husband. Tom, you're weird. I never said he was. I was never said that he was normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Anything That's else yet? What nah. to depart? No, no. Okay, we're good on milkshakes. <laughs> My milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Damn, See, we started. We're with done milkshakes. with this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how to deal when the shit gets real. You're welcome for my singing. Have a great day, and we'll see you next episode. <laughs>